I'm unlovable. So that's a pretty big core emotion, isn't it? Like within myself. So if, if I'm now, I'm now to, so what am I doing? I'm pleasing other people so that they will love me. By the way, is that love that I'm really getting? No, because if you've got to please someone before they love you, then they don't love you. They're just getting something from you, right? But I, this is the thing that would have been set up when I was very young with my parents, for example. If you don't do what I say, or you don't do what I feel, is what most parents feel, then you don't love me anymore. And they taught us that very, at a very young age. So I'm unlovable. So the f fastest way for me to get into that emotion is allow, the law of attraction will already be bringing me this emotion. Stop doing things for the sake of getting love. And what will happen if you do that, you'll find that every single person in your life who doesn't really love you, you will get angry with you. So let's, let's give an example. Let's say um, one of the things I do for love is cook my family a meal. So if you're one of these ladies who, who <coughs> resent cooking meals all the time, and you're tired of cooking meals all the time, and you do it because it's the definition of being a good mum or a good wife, stop cooking a meal one night, don't tell anybody, just don't cook the meal for that night, and see what happens. And what will happen Coming back at you generally will be, what? What? <laughs> How can you be doing this, right? There'll be this really, really strong rejection back at you saying, what are you doing? And you're saying, actually, I'm allowed to love myself and tonight I don't feel like cooking. Why don't you cook for me? And if you get anger back from that, what is that telling you? That actually this relationship isn't as loving as what you believed it was. You will start feeling unloved. So allow yourself to feel the emotion of being unloved. Can you see how it works? You can easily access these core emotions like that. The problem is the majority of the time is that these emotions feel so big inside of us that we don't allow ourselves to feel those emotions and instead what we do is we revert to some other form of suppression of that emotion. So for instance, the lady who doesn't, the lady who doesn't talk to her, um, sorry, who does it? Who, who keeps cooking for her uh, husband and children? All of a sudden, she decides one night she's going to have one night off. She takes one night off, and everyone in the family is upset with her. What does she do? How dare you get upset with me? Oh, I've cooked with you, for, cooked for you for twenty years, and you know you've never cooked for me. Like, what's she doing there? She's in this anger phase, denying the experience of the being unloved emotion. Does that make sense? She'd be far better off allowing herself just to, just to feel this terrible, overwhelming feeling that she actually has felt for quite some time in herself that she's not being loved doing this. And um, microphone. Hi. Um, I'd like to know, does it matter um, whether it's true or not that her family loves or doesn't love her if she feels it? Most of the time it will be true. So for in, the, in the example that I've just given you, the truth is if the family is getting angry at the woman who's cooked for them for 20 years, and she's just taking a night off and all of a sudden they're angry, then they don't love her. In that particular, at that particular moment, they do not love her. Do they? If they loved her, what would they do? They'd say, okay, mum, no worries, we'll cook for tonight. You sit down and have a relax. Wouldn't they do that if they were loving? I don't know. I've got an 11, 9 and 7 year old. I oh, mean, it doesn't matter what age. I don't cook anyway. My husband does it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it really doesn't matter what age. Uh, obviously, until, unless they're little, little, tiny children, there's a, there's a big difference there. But I'm talking about children that are able to go and get a sandwich for themselves or do something for themselves for an evening. If they're angry with mum for not doing it for them, then there's not love in that particular instance. Now, it doesn't mean they don't love her in other areas. It just means that in that particular state, they are not loving her. And if she, in that particular moment, allows herself to feel it, she'll get that triggered. Mary? Um, Mark, sorry. Sorry, it was just a comment. If they're quite young children, they'll just be reflecting your own emotion about feeling, I'm not allowed to do this, and so they'll get angry at you. 
Exactly, yeah. So if they're very young children, and they're just going to reflect back at you the fact that you, do, you feel you're not allowed to do it anyway. Yeah. So you know, the older they get, then if they're reflecting anger back at you for other reasons, it's because actually they've learnt to be selfish from you by you doing all these things for them and them not actually appreciating it. So their, their emotion will be triggered as well. But I'm not talking about their emotion, I'm saying focus on your emotion in that instance. 